1,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's a milestone every small YouTuber wants to hit, and I myself have just hit, and once you get there, you realize, well, you're still a small YouTuber. But it is a huge accomplishment nonetheless, and a lot of people wanna know, how exactly do I get there? So that's what we're going to be talking about today, but we're going to be taking a little bit of a different approach past the, well, the normal things you'd be hearing on any YouTube growth video, where you hear people talk about the physical things that you should be doing on your channel, like using keywords in your title, a good description, an eye-catching thumbnail, things of that nature. But what I wanna focus on in today's video is more up here in the old noggin mental attributes that you should have in order to be successful on this platform. But don't get me wrong, those other things that I mentioned that I kind of somewhat mocked are still very important, but I just feel like at this point in your journey, you've probably already watched a thousand videos about how to make good tags, good thumbnails, and a good description. I wanna tell you guys other things that'll help you get there in the long run. Because I feel like YouTube is a marathon, not a sprint. You've heard that expression before. It's more true than ever on this platform. And if you've ever done any sort of really sport, physical activity or anything like that before that takes endurance, a lot of it is your mentality. There's times where you feel like your body's failing you, but what gets you through to the end is your mind. The old noggin, the steel trap. Also, be sure you guys stay till the end because my last tip that I have, the last mental attribute I feel like you need I know you need in order to be successful on this platform. It's probably the most important of the three I'm talking about today. So stay tuned for that. Another thing you'll hear in a lot of those uh, YouTube guru videos about how to grow is posting consistently. And although I 100% agree that you do need to post consistently, have a consistent schedule, upload the same days, same times, all that kinds of stuff, hello? I feel like it's important to talk about how you post consistently. What mental attribute do you need that will help you to post same time, same day, every single week? But the thing you need in order to post consistently is self-discipline. Now I can guarantee you, not every single person watching this video right now is good with self-discipline. There's probably a lot of mornings where you wake up, you're a little bit lazier in the morning, you wait, kind of mosey on around, maybe you watch a lot of TikTok, look at Instagram, whatever it may be. Basically, procrastinating, I'm a master procrastinator, before you're actually getting your day started. Now, I myself put in full-time hours trying to create this brand, my YouTube channel, all that stuff, even though I make a big old goose egg at the end of the day and i can go into how i'm doing that or why i'm doing that right now i have a full video about my day in the life that explains all that which i'll link above my head right here if you guys are interested in that at all but i'm sure 99.9 percent .9 of you who are at the same place that i am with a youtube channel whether it be a thousand subscribers or less currently work a full-time job or you're going to school you have sports to do all these things that kind of take away and distract from your ultimate goal of being a YouTuber or a content creator or however you want to label yourself. So although it may not seem fun to get up extra early to put in some work before you actually go to work, before you go to school, or come home after work or school or after you have a sports game after school and put in even more work on creating a video and posting and stuff like that, those are the things that you have to do in order to be successful on this platform. That's how you're going to stay consistent. You need that discipline to get up early, to stay up a little bit later, to get these things done in order to put out content. At the end of the day, you're your own boss when it comes to your YouTube channel. No one is telling you when to go to work, no one is telling you what to work on, or even how much of that work you should do. That responsibility is entirely on your shoulders, so it's up to you to figure out how the heck you're gonna do that. Another thing that a lot of people mention, which kind of kicks me into gear, is that for every minute that you're wasting time, you're procrastinating, there's someone else out there just like you trying to do the same thing you're doing and putting in the work and getting that extra step ahead. Because although as creators, we wanna see other creators alongside us succeed, it's also a little bit of a competition. People are gunning for your viewers, the viewers you're trying to get. And if you're disciplined enough, you can beat them to the punch. But maybe you're already great with self-discipline. That's something that you are aware of. You're just really good at cracking down, getting the work done. That's great. If you're not, find a way to do that. Find it within yourself to really crack down, put aside the distractions and put out content. 
consistently. Okay, so let's say that to this point, you know, you have no problems with self-discipline. You're able to get the work done, you put the videos out. Now it's time to be honest with yourself. Is that work any good? With a background in videography, I have a pretty good understanding of how to film and edit videos correctly to kind of keep people engaged, to make it look visually pleasing and sound good. But I also understand that not everyone has those skill sets when they're first starting YouTube. So this is where the next mental attribute comes in and that is self-awareness. Something people have a hard time grasping is that just because they made the video, because you made that video, doesn't always mean that it's good. Listen, there may be a lot of things out there that you're really good at, that you're a master at. Making videos might not be one of them and honestly, probably isn't because there's very few people out there who have a video background which is totally fine that's nothing to be ashamed of really the true strength comes in in having that self-awareness to say I have no idea how to edit a video I don't know how to film a video I don't know what I am doing I can put the videos out on a consistent basis but I don't really think that they're ever that good and that's why it's important to have that self-awareness because just because you're posting consistently does not mean that now you're automatically going to grow. If your videos aren't fun to watch, if they're not at least visually pleasing or sound good, no one's gonna care. So, say you are self-aware, you recognize my videos just aren't that good. It's time to put that first mental trait into practice with self-discipline and go out and learn those traits. Develop those skill sets. It takes time. I'm primarily self-taught when it comes to video. I went to school for video, but before I left for college, I did video all the time as a hobby and learned a vast majority of the skill sets that I have today. And I know from personal experience, it takes time to learn these things. But this is where we can go back to our first point of self-discipline to post consistently comes in to be a huge key factor here because the more you post, the more you practice, the better you're going to get. I'm not saying just because your videos are terrible right out the gate, if they are, that you should just stop posting and wait until you're good at editing to start posting videos. You should be posting videos, good or not. It's still important to get your videos out there, get content out there. And obviously you've all heard saying, practice makes perfect. Keep posting videos as you're learning. People will see that growth, see how far you've come. You can even use that to look back on back. Like, Whoa, this is where I started and now here's where I am. And I think you guys can kind of see how all of these mental attributes kind of all fuse together and work together in potentially a perfect way to make the perfect creator. Obviously not saying perfect is then you're gonna be making perfect videos the entire time and have perfect success and all that kind of stuff, but more in a way where they just blend perfectly together to kind of help give your marathon, as we called it, your journey, the best possibility for success. Okay, it's finally time for what I said previously in the beginning of the video, what I feel like is the most important attribute that you can have if you're trying to be a YouTuber, content creator, whatever, that is patience. And it's probably everybody's least favorite attribute to have, their least favorite word to hear when it comes to something that they desperately want. You need to have patience to get there. This is not an overnight success video. This is not how to win the lottery. You're not going to be getting a million subscribers overnight. This takes time. And I know firsthand how much that bothers people. I get a lot of DMs from people saying, I've been at so many subscribers for so long. How are you at a thousand subscribers already? What did you do? What can I do different? Can you check out my channel? And they have the same type of urgency when it comes to growing their streams as well, not just their YouTube channel. I've had someone come into my stream saying that they streamed on four different platforms in one week. Now, if that doesn't scream impatience, I don't know what does. Now, if you already have the self-discipline, you have the self-awareness, two key factors that kind of go hand in hand, then by having this last one, patience, all three together, you're going to make it. I can almost guarantee you, if you do the right things in time, success will come. Because if you don't have patience, that hard work that you put in was all for naught because you'll be giving up within, well, I was gonna say within the year, but quite frankly, a lot of people quit within weeks, months. They feel like YouTube 
owes them something. They feel like people owe them something. They feel like just because that they made the video, because they're the one streaming, you should be there. And that's self bias at its finest. And if you're someone who thinks that, then clearly don't have the second trait we talked about, which is self-awareness. Because if you're self-aware, then you have to realize that your stuff might not be that good and probably isn't that good. And patience is still something that I'm still trying to have myself. I got to 1000 subscribers. It's a great feat and I'm happy I got here. It took a lot of work to get here, but there's still a ton more work to do. I am very much at the beginning of my journey, but I have on good authority that the first 1,000 subscribers is probably the hardest thing that you will do on YouTube. I've heard many YouTubers say it before. I have a friend of mine who has a successful channel on YouTube called Rise Magic, and he even told me personally that Getting that first 1,000 subscribers is probably the hardest thing you'll do on YouTube. And then from that point forward, given you keep doing the things that have worked, you'll start to see success much, much quicker. But I truly do feel like that first 1,000 is almost acts as like a prove it phase to YouTube and to yourself. Because if you can do that, you can get to that first 1,000. You've proved to yourself that you can do this. If it's true that getting that first 1,000 subscribers is the hardest thing you'll do on YouTube and you get there, then in my mind, sky's the limit. At the end of the day, I feel like YouTube wants you to succeed because by you succeeding, obviously they get money and they're succeeding as well. But unlike a lot of social media platforms where the big creators just keep getting bigger and the small creators seem to be suffering at the bottom, I feel like YouTube is one of the few platforms that actually allows nobodies like myself grow from absolutely nothing to even where I'm at now with a thousand plus subscribers and still seeing growth every single day. And the way I got there is by implementing all these mental attributes that I mentioned today. Yes, there's things you can do physically, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, like tag research, keywords, thumbnails, time of day you're posting, how often you're posting, all these things. There's endless things you can do to help your chances and probably endless videos that you've watched already about those things. But I've yet to see a video out there dedicated strictly to the mental mindset you need to have when on YouTube. I mean, I'm sure you've heard from many creators that they've gone through burnout. And there's a reason that they have burnout and that burnout comes from a mental place. So anyone that tells you your mentality when going to something like this is a non-factor, they're dead wrong. So please, please do not take what you've heard in this video lightly. You're hearing it from someone who's going through it right now. Someone who's currently on this really long journey, someone who just hit a thousand subscribers, it's fresh in my mind, it's fresh in my journey. I know what I did to get here, and I know that my mentality was the most important thing to get me to this point. And for anyone who's made it this far in the video, I have a bonus tip for you. You're welcome. Another thing you can do to help that mentality when here on YouTube is tune into one of my live streams. I stream every Monday through Thursday from 6.30 p.m. Eastern and on. I'm also testing out some day streams. I also stream sometimes on the weekends. The best way to know when I'm going live Subscribe and turn on those notifications. You'll never miss a live stream. If you guys found this video helpful, please hit that like button because it actually does help the channel. It pushes the video out to so many more people who need to hear what I have to say. And like I said, subscribe, bell, comment, just uh, uh, all the YouTube things that you're able to do, just do it, you know? But with all that being said, that's all I have for this one. I'll catch you next one. <laughs>